Hi folks, Mike the Car Guy here with uh, just a quick message about what I am doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, I've gotten asked a lot of times the last couple of weeks since I stepped out of the dealership arena, why would I walk away from uh, a great job and get out on my own and take the risk of trying to go door to door from dealer to dealer to see if they would uh, be willing to hire me to do what I do for the dealerships that I've worked for. And the reason is, is you know, with 30 years in the car business, uh, I know the industry inside and out. I speak the language of the industry. I know how car dealerships work. I know how busy they can be. I know what it takes to manage a successful dealership. I've worked for stores that have over doubled their production. And it's not that I'm just so amazing as a manager or as a team leader, or as a sales trainer. Um, that's all part of it. I've, I've hired some great teams and been a part of some great organizations. But one of the things that's helped the dealerships that I've worked with the most is taking the knowledge that I've gained in the last 10, 12 years and applying it to the store, building their brand online, helping them manage their social media, their business listings, staying on top of reviews, making sure that we're engaged with our customers where they are. And most customers are like me and like everybody else, they're online, they're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on Instagram. They're, they're spending their off time or their personal time uh, entertaining themselves with social media. So my efforts in putting the dealership out there where the customers are have paid for themselves. And also in that time, in the last few years, I've seen a number of companies that are approaching the car business because they see a need uh, from so many dealerships that don't have time to manage their social, don't understand how to manage their social, and don't get how important their social is. So they see a need to go in and, and pitch their sales that, uh, you know, hand us the keys to your digital presence and uh, and we'll manage it for you because you have don't have time as you're running your dealership to do that posting on Facebook and you don't want to have your receptionist at the front counter doing it just because she's got you know 12 million followers on Instagram so they've really gone in and taken what I think is advantage of a lot of car dealerships lack of real understanding and they're charging a lot of money to to manage and they're really just kind of phoning it in they're putting the same post for multiple dealerships they're they're real vague and generic posts. There's nothing about the culture of the individual store. They're not helping the store at all, but they're sure profiting from it. And my passion has just become social media. It's something that's really interesting to me. It's a, more than a hobby, it's a focus. It's, a, it's, a, it's the reason I get up in the morning and I really just jump online to try to learn as much as I can, not only about social, but stay on top of the world of automotive. And I thought, there's all these companies that are not giving dealerships a great product. I can do it better. So I stepped out of the dealership, opened up my own uh, agency. And what I'm doing is working with car dealerships to increase their business. I can drive more phone calls, more clicks to their website and put more people in their showroom with far less uh, money than dealerships are spending now with a lot of these agencies and with a more culture based drive. Uh, you know, I like to say, don't tell a customer why buy from you, show them. And the way you do that is to build a culture that attracts your customers. And pretty soon, instead of advertising and gaining the customer's business with that low price or low lease payment, they just come to you because they like what they see online. They feel that you're trustworthy. They want to be a part of your organization because it is a great culture. And uh, that's one thing that I do for customers. And it's one of the things that uh, I just wanted to share with a lot of people. So. I don't have to say the same thing over and over because it just seems to be the question that I've been asked a lot. And over the course of time, I'm going to be posting uh, tips, techniques, and, and helpful ideas that I hope will benefit dealerships outside of the Southern California area because I can't reach every dealer in the country. It'd be foolish for me to try, but uh, I can at least expose some things that may help people wherever they're at that uh, people can benefit from and put to use in their own dealership. And if you are working with an agency that you think is phoning in their stuff, at least you know by, by listening to these things, these tips that I'm going to share with you, how to better hold them accountable and get a better return on your investment. Um, if you're not doing it yourself and you're paying someone to do it, you need to make sure that they're doing the best that they can for you. And I'll show you how. So stay tuned here. It's going to be a fun adventure. And I look forward to, uh, to posting up more things as we go along. I hope you're having a great day. I'm Mike the Car Guy.